Okay, I just wanted to uh, talk. <clears throat> I just wanted to talk about the uh, residential schools. Uh, pretty sickening. Pretty sickening what the white man did to uh, the Aboriginal people. And uh, there's no excuse for it. And you know what? Um, for the Catholic Church to not try to come good for what they did is very disturbing, you know. And for them to say, oh, it happened such a long time ago. No, you know what? It happened up until the end of the 20th century. That was not a long time ago. And you know what? Something needs to be done fast about racism and hate. Look at what happened in London, Ontario, Canada a few days ago. Muslim family was mowed down by a white supremacist. For what? For what? What point was this guy trying to make? You know, if we don't do something now, I'm worried that uh, our days are numbered as a species. And I know some of you are probably going to say that I'm virtue signaling right now. And well, that's not my intention here. My intention is just to try to find out how we can make it. Because at the rate we're going, we're not going to make it. No, at the rate we're going, we're, uh, we're not going to last very long. And the quality of life is going to go down for everybody, you know. Lots of issues in the world right now. Running out of natural resources, uh, a lot of poverty, a lot of corruption. And uh, this is not just virtue signaling that I'm doing right now, even though it's gonna come across that way. Uh, I'm just baffled, frankly, at uh, you know, like, we're, we're in 2021 now. And this is the best we can do? You know, that's pretty sad. That's pretty sad. You know, I, you would think that we'd be making progress. It feels like we're going backwards. Our lives are totally taken over by technology, cell phones, social media. Even though I'm putting this on social media right now, it seems kind of hypocritical, but I just feel like I need to get this off my chest and talk about it because I'm getting really anxious about this. Like I'm 35 years old and uh, if I were to die tomorrow, I'd be okay with that. Like I don't, I'm not saying I want to die. I know I'm just, I've had a good life. You know, I was raised by my grandparents. They raised me very well. They were wonderful people. I can't say enough good things about them. But if they could see what the world is, they're both gone, unfortunately, but if they could see what the world is like now, I don't think they'd be too thrilled. You know, they'd be worried about me. But uh, I'm worried for everybody. You know, like, it, it's a scary world out there. And I've become somewhat of a recluse. I won't leave the house unless I absolutely have to. Just because I don't like seeing the way things are. I don't like the way people act. You know, the, there's a lot of disrespect, a lot of hate. And, uh... I don't know. I honestly think that if, if people keep going the way they are, and I'm not saying I'm perfect, I'm not, but if things keep going the way they are, I think we're done as a species, you know? And then you got the COVID-19 virus, they got a vaccine for it. Well, how long is it gonna be before something else comes up, right? I mean, we're always gonna have challenges, but I mean, it just seems like uh, life isn't what it used to be, really. It's not what it used to be. Um, 
Is it worth living? I think so, yeah. But I just feel really bad for the youth today. Because when I grew up, there were no cell phones. Well, there were, but they were very expensive and they were only used for calls. You know, pe most people had pagers. And uh, we had video games. Like we had Game Boy and Sega, you know, uh, and all that stuff. But now everything is just totally taken over by technology, you know, like people are shying away from one-on-one -on -one interaction, including me. And this is a problem. It's a big problem. <clears throat> and I just hope that, uh, I really hope that things are going to get better, but we got a long way to go. Long way to go. Um, I guess that's all I had to say. Uh, you know, coming back to the Catholic Church, it's really disappointing that they're they're not wanting to come clean on on what they did, and they knew what was going on. Um, it's not like they didn't know what was happening. They did, and uh, but for the Vatican, I I really think it was out of sight, out of mind, like so many things, out of sight, out of mind. Right? You don't see it, doesn't affect you, but it's still there. So I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I'm really worried for people, you know, in the future of of this life that we have. I mean, uh, you know. Housing is a big problem, too, in Canada, where I am right now. It's a big problem. And it's going to get worse because the population is going to grow. Where is everybody going to go? Affordable housing, there's a waiting list where I live right now, right? So people are having to wait a long time just to have a place to live that is uh, sustainable for a good amount of time. And who wants to live like that? <laughs> you know, like... Uh, they're talking about doing this universal basic income in Canada. Maybe that's a good idea. Um, I don't know how it's going to work, but they've been doing that with the, uh, the, the emergency response benefit. And uh, I guess it's been somewhat successful from what I've read. Uh, I don't know. And the thing is, like... The gap between the wealthy and the poor is growing exponentially, it seems, you know, as time goes on. And this, this is bad, too, because people get upset. <clears throat> There's minimum wage earners out there that work very hard for their money. And they say to themselves, okay, I'm working my ass off here. And this other guy who gets to sit at a desk all day makes more in one year than I do in my whole lifetime. Like, what's up with that? Well, they those type of people, like, they do work hard in their own way. Might not be manual labor that's, you know, but they do work hard in their own way. But still, it, it breeds contempt, right? The, the When there's gaps in the, the rich and the poor like that. And I, get, I think it, it might always be that way. Um, it's been that way for a long time already. Um, I just really hope that, uh, oh, my hair, sorry. I just really hope that we start making progress because this is not progress right now. We're going backwards. Things are getting worse, not better. And it's 2021 now, so it's time for us to get our act together, you know? Because if we don't, we're over just like the dinosaurs, you know, but that, uh, that wasn't what they did. Like, you know, that's just something that happened, but, uh, they were wiped out, but people just, I can't even articulate what I'm thinking right now. I don't have the vocabulary. Um, But there has to be a change, fast, 
or we're done in my opinion we're, we're done we're finished and uh, yeah I guess that's about it thanks for bearing with me